Guys, let's get the opening bell here and check in on uh, Brett, which has been overwhelmingly positive uh, last few days, uh, in increasingly so, in fact. We do want to turn our attention really quick to the race for president. Vice President Biden holding the edge here this morning, taking the lead in the vote count in both Pennsylvania and Georgia this morning. But with vote counting ongoing, both races are still too close to call. NBC has not made a projection in either race. In Arizona, we're expecting a new batch of votes uh, from the state's largest county, Maricopa, to drop at 11 a.m. Eastern time. The president has, in fact, been closing the gap there. And as we said earlier, uh, Biden currently leads in the Electoral College 253 to 214. Um, there's a narrative, Jim, that uh, he might end up going 306 to 232, which was the same margin uh, that the president won in 2016, if you take out the factor from uh, some electors who abstained. So now the debate will continue as to whether or not uh, 306 is a mandate, if, in fact, that's what happens. Well, I, I think the one of the things that people are going to have to start dealing with is maybe it's not good to be able to disclose these uh, results piecemeal because it, it, it causes a lot of people to make a lot of mistakes, including a president. I mean, it, it, there's no certainty of these numbers until the fat lady sings. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.